Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has one box there. If you want God to bless you this year, He wants you to obey His word. He wants you to follow His commandment. He said, If thou diligently acting unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Verse 2, and all these blessings shall come on thee. And I will overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou obey the Lord thy God. If thou call upon only the name of the Lord, the Lord. Please, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. But sis, blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Verse 8, the Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thy hands unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Verse 13, and the Lord shall make thee the earth, and not the pair, and thou shalt be above all, and thou shalt not be beneath, if thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God. That means if you do not hearken to the voice of God thy God, if you do not follow what he has commanded us to do, that means all this blessing will not work for you. We must follow his commandment. Exodus 20 verse 6 says, Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. That is one of his commandments that he has commanded us. If only you act into this commandment, all these blessings will not surround. Praise the Lord. If you obey the word of God, that say remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Many have forgotten this day. Do you see this day for what they like? Many say this day for meeting time. The time they ought to be in the house of the Lord. Many are in the place of their business now. Many are riding your car now. Many are in their working shop now. The day that God has separated for us. The day that God has sanctified for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If only we act into all this. Praise the Lord. What is that thing that God has commanded you to do? You fail to do them. All this blessing will not work for you. He's the one that commanded us to pay tithes. He's the one who commanded the offering. He's the one who commanded the first fruit. If only you act to all these commandments. If only you act to all this. God is ready to bless us. God is ready to bless us. And I pray He shall bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. The blessings in obedience. The power of obedience the Lord gives to us this morning. You want to examine a man. Who obeyed the law? And because he obeyed the law, the Lord blessed him abundantly. Everything he laid in hand of 
Michael was prospered. Praise the Lord. In the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 1. Genesis 9, verse 1. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. And his family. Hallelujah. And the church. And said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the heart. And this is the generation of men. The generation of men. That is how men feel the world. Because Noah obeyed the voice of the Lord. Lord commanded Noah. Go out of your house. Go and build a heart. Because there will be flood. Rain shall fall. Rain shall fall. And it will be every place. Go and build a heart. So that people can come in. So that people can be saved. And immediately, Noah took the step, built the heart, and he did what God has commanded him to do. After he has done this, God blessed him because he obeyed the voice of God, because he gave his commandment. What is that thing that God has been telling you to do? If you have not done it, what is that advice that God has given for you to do? If you have not done it, that is what is angering your blessing. That is what is angering your promotion. Because you pray to obey his, his, his word. And God bless you all. Not only one, and the son, and said unto them, the crucible. That means we are the children of Noah. Hallelujah. 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 And who is doing very well? They will be calling him the source of Noah. Yes, praise the Lord. They will call you a side of Noah. Because God has blessed Noah. Because he obeyed the word of the Lord. And God prophesied to his life that he should be fruitful. And pray to the next one to be fruitful. I pray this one to be fruitful. In everything that I have about, be fruitful. I 
are utterly destroyed. We have destroyed some song. And these are kept it to offer sacrifice to you. God commanded you to destroy everything. You did not ask you to spare some. For Saul for so disobeyed God. Because he disobeyed God. Verse 22. As great delight in God's offering and sacrifice. And, as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold. To obey. Is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the part of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As he's obeying the Hallelujah. But the man said, No. I love her. Give her, let it be my wife. Hallelujah. Disobedience. 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 Obedience is very good as a child of God. A child that does not obey his parents is in danger. The people that does not obey their minister are in danger. If you don't obey to the voice of God, you are in danger. Chapter 14, verse 3. Judges for. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Is there never a woman among the daughters of the brethren? Hallelujah. 